hello everyone so in this particular video i am going to show you how you can download and edit a video hype template so we are getting started here we have this particular youtube next video hype template once you open it you will be able to see this interface we can just drag it and if you scroll your mouse you will be able to zoom in or you can just make it fit to 100% so you can see here that we have this page in which it is showing next I mean there is a right side uh, animation going on here that's why it is written right side here. so let's see what we have here so you can just see this one don't need to judge okay? you do not need to touch this one because this is a part of the template which should not be edited there is something called as editable you can just click on it and you will find nine different templates so you can just click on this folder open it and then there is something which is written as next zero one right and left right to open this simply click on one of the composition then you have this one so what you can do here is you can just select this uh, double click on this particular text that we have and then you have the option to change the font as well you can just double click on it and write your own text and then similarly we have a next line uh, you can double click on this and you can just write your own text here as well what we have here is control so you can just click on control button and you can see that whatever color is white here it is notified by the color white so you can just change it as well you can just click on it and maybe you can make the changes so as of now this is the text one uh, color and then we have second one which is text two and then we have other text as well other things as well you can also learn this by just clicking on this button and see that which particular option is available for which particular part okay for example let me go back to that one so this is the one right in this one if you see here we have one more composition inside the main composition if you double click on it you will be able to click on this one and then make the changes why i am not able to make the changes because there is a lock button you have to unlock just double click on it and then you can make the changes that you want you can again make the changes of the font or the size of the font that you want and then once you have done it you can just go back to the previous composition and in this way you are able to see that we have made some changes here if you want to render this out you can create a green screen at the bottom how to do that you have to just click on new solid and in the solid you can just put uh, the green color okay just name it as green solid then bring it down to the bottom and then you can see here that this particular color is available there and once you have ex exported it by clicking on this composition add to media encoder and then just selecting the place where you want to export it okay, just click on this one and then you will be able to place this on your premiere pro main video so in this way you learned how to actually make changes with the font of a particular project if you would like to know more i would like to show you that in this particular project we have multiple different slides let's suppose next 07 you can just double click on one of the compositions that you have once you double click on it you will be able to see the composition that you want if you want to close the other one you can directly click here and then close other panels in group so you will be able to find that only one tab is open and all these things are there so let's try to make changes here so if you want to make the changes in this particular text you can just go to the selection tab and then double click on it and you can make the changes 
Similarly, in the second one, you can double click on it and make the changes that you want. If you see here, there is a sub placeholder inside the main placeholder. So you can double click on this as well and you can make the changes as per your choice. Always remember to unlock the lock that you have. Once the changes are made, you can also go ahead and make the changes with the color. You can click on control panel and you have to go to effect control. If you don't see it, you will be able to find it here. Effect control. You can just go here and then make the changes. Let me make it red and maybe I can make the... Once it is done, you are okay to render it if you want to know what is this one this is the call a shy button you can click on this one and you will see other options as well we will discuss about it in our next video but as of now this is how you actually make changes with the text in your placeholder and then add it at the end of the video I hope you like this particular video. If you would like to follow along, you can follow the playlist that we have. You can see the videos from video number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and more of videos will come. If you would like me to edit any of your available project or template, you can just send me a quick message by following the link in the description. Remember to subscribe to this channel and share with someone who will find it helpful. If you like this video, add it, click on the like button and add a comment if it was really helpful to you. I'll see you next time.